setting the famous Bernabeu Stadium in Madrid. The team showing 18 years old Gary Mills wearing the number 10 shirt for Forrest, while Hamburg will not risk their injured striker Rubesch, who's on the subs bench, which means Kevin Keegan will have to play up front. This vast stadium will become more familiar in 1982 when the World Cup finals are staged in Spain. Forrest and the dark kid playing from right to left and fresh from a break in Mallorca. The players looking tanned and relaxed. Bullion. Forrest bidding tonight to win the European Cup for the fourth year in succession for an English club. Liverpool in 77-78, Forrest last year. Geronimus. Hamburg content to knock it about at the back, wait for a position to develop. Nobly to Bullion. Manny Kels is number two. Expect to see him attacking a lot. Ryman to Kels. Forrest already showing the pattern, pulling players back. Memering. Magat. And Maleski bitten by Burns straight away. Burns hard into the tackle, missed the ball, caught the man. And Keegan warns the referee that Burns can be tough. Right through, over the ball, into the man. And watch Keegan's reaction. Keegan comes to tell the referee that Burns is a hard man. Well, Peter Taylor and Brian Cuff forecast that one goal can win this match. Again, the familiar pattern already with the Forest players getting between ball and goal. Magat to Bullion. We're looking for an ambitious one to Keegan, and Keegan fouled by Lloyd. Keegan goes down, and Ian Bowyer points an accusing finger, claiming that Keegan is acting. Awkward position this for Forrest. Peter Shilton organizing the wall. He's got four there, five now. Ryman 11, 8 is Memring, 7 Keegan, 10 Maggart. Ryman, Maggart! Oh, a tremendous save by Shilton. Threw himself to his left, but Maggart beat the wall. O'Neill broke, tried to attack Maggart, didn't get there, but Shilton did. Superb goalkeeping. Maggart now with a corner. Trying to find Keegan. This is Bowyer now for Forrest. Bullion in quickly. Frank Gray to take the throw. Played in the European Cup final for Leeds United in 1975 when they lost to Bayern Munich. Wasn't in the Forest team last year. In fact, of the players on the field tonight that won the European Cup uh, 12 months ago, no less than nine of that squad. It's Burns, very coolly back, solved his problem well, and now racing back to his position at centre-back. Bullion and Bertels, and Bullion wins. My God. Robertson for Forrest. Hieronymus. Kaltz checking on the forward players, but there's a lot of close marking. Ryman. Again, the patient build-up. Maggot. Oh, and Nogli missed out then. Anderson stole that ball. A chance for Forrest to break. Bertels out of the touchline. Gary Bertels. Very much a left-sided player. Trying to find space on that left foot, and he got it. Just wide. And Nogli shows his own disgust there. He was the player who missed out on the attack. He came racing back to defend, but didn't get back in time. Bertels here, always seeking to find space on the left side for the shot. It just says daylight for a moment and was just wide. Magart, most of the uh, midfield play for Hamburg, channeled through him. Hieronymus. Magart. Malewski. Breaks down again. Forrest quite happy to sit back and defend and absorb the punishment. McGovern, that's Bertels. Martin and Neil. Forced to check back. 
Frank Gray from once attacking through the center. It's Gary Mills in trouble. Robertson. Leashed by Carls, he's past him. Bertels. Robertson. That's the first. 20 minutes gone, and Robertson puts Forrest in front. Robertson here takes on Kaltz, goes inside, looks for a one-two with Bertels, and Bertels in back plays the ball when he's on the ground. Boyer almost gets in the way, the goalkeeper touches it, but it's in off the post. 1-0 to Forrest, the score is John Robertson. And remember, Peter Taylor and Brian Clough said one would do. That's the all-important first goal. Hieronymus. pressure but Forrest counter-attacking take the lead Maggart Ryman trouble for Forrest here Kaltz is backing up Kaltz oh what a save Ryman and offside and a bench given it doesn't count well that was a real escape for Forrest Ryman led it back to Kaltz who Got a slice the ball, but Valeski got a touch. And what a save by Schilt. And no protest from the Hamburg players. They accepted the referee's decision. Referee Garrido of Portugal was right on the spot. Another foul, Burns on Keegan, and this time the yellow card. Certainly Burns and Lloyd, the two centre-backs, been making a considerable impact, both physical and psychological. Magat, to impress with Keegan apparently, revives him with a pass. Kaltz. Magat. Keegan under pressure again. Good jump by the little man, though. He only found McGovern. Hieronymus. Valeski fouled by Anderson. Memoring. Bullion to number six. Hieronymus. Jakobsen in his most forward position so far. Hieronymus. Oh, police back. Oh, and Burns got out of that well. On a custom mix up there in the Forest defence, though. <laughs> Just for a moment, then, Forest were in trouble. My God. Memoring. Released by Magart, he miss hit the shot. William and Bertels again. Cargus hasn't really had much to do in the Hamburg goal. Manny Kaltz. It's memoring. Burns so firmly into Keegan then. The two Forest centre-backs, Lloyd and Burns, giving absolutely nothing away. Dominating in the air and forceful on the ground. All squeezed back, and again, Shilton handling so cleanly. Kevin Keegan not finding very much space. 
are beginning to play in a deeper position. Again, the build-up channel through Bagart. His Kaltz. Ryman. Jacobs. Bagart. Mavering. Knocked away by Lloyd. Thank you. 